All right, so I'm gonna walk you through the setup. We're gonna start off with the incendiary shotgun. Now this thing was really, really good in the beginning. The best part about all that footage I showed you, that was pre-buff flamethrower and pre-buff incendiary shotgun. So now this thing cooks even more. The incendiary shotgun is absolutely good at taking out anything. You can engulf hive cards and flames and kill them. You could comfortably take out two to even three stalkers rushing at you. If you see a line of hunters, just spray them down and watch them all burn. This gun could get you out of every single situation you get caught in. That's gonna be our primary. The secondary, there's been rumors that there's gonna be a secondary flamethrower pistol. But right now I'm gonna take in the laser gun. Although I'm warning you right now, this gun sucks so hard. This gun is so bad. I actually don't recommend taking it but since we're with the theme and it's kind of like a fire weapon i'm going ahead and bring it anyways but you could use any secondary you want the incendiary grenades probably have the best area of effect out of all the explosives throwing this thing down it has the initial explosion which does a good amount of damage and then flowers out into a beautiful lake of flames burning any small enemy who crosses it the incendiary grenade is one of my favorite grenades to take with any build and much like the rest of the grenades these grenades can close bug holes as well and this is going to be our only form of closing bug holes but we're gonna have so many grenades you just run up and chuck them in and it'll blow the buck hole closed like any other grenade. Now I'm big on character customization on games. I believe if you're gonna play the part, you gotta look the part. So the armor we're rocking, we're going all orange everything. We're gonna be running around looking like a Cheeto so that when people see us, they're like, okay, that's a flame trooper. I'm just gonna keep him over there, let him cook, okay? Literally just let him cook. This gear is in the first Warbond Pass. The helmet is going to be the CE35 Trench Engineer. This helmet looks really cool. It actually looks like the visor of a welder's helmet. So this thing fits the build perfectly. Our body armor, we're gonna be rocking with the same variant, the CE35 Trench trench engineer and the stats on this armor are perfect it gives us six grenades in total and we're going to be using grenades for a lot of things along with the tide turner cape our player card to match the theme is also going to be the tide turner an alternate player card you could use if you care is the cloak of prosperity's gratitude it's orange and black so it looks nice as well Looking into our stratagems and bringing the orbital laser. When it's dragging across the ground, it creates lines of fire. So this thing is a perfect all around stratagem and it fits the fire theme. The orbital laser is great with crowd control. Whenever you find yourself in a tough situation, you throw it down. The orbital laser also gives us a good counter to bio titans. While not completely killing them, it'll do about half health damage to where one of your anti-tank builds can come along and pop its head off. Our next stratagem, Napalm Airstrike. The Napalm Airstrike does great initial damage where the eagle drags along and goes, Doon, 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 hits it three times. This just falls and drops them all three at the same time. Something that's better than the regular eagle is it leaves flames that does so much damage to anything that sits in it. This is the perfect airstrike for holding down any openings to keep any small to medium enemies away for a prolonged period of time. You see that wretched line of hunters following you, drop an eagle napalm strike and watch them all get deleted. You see a bug hole breach, this is the best stratagem to just throw it right on top of it and have it melt anything that even thought about poking its head out of the ground. With a fully up upgraded ship you get three of them and they recharge pretty fast so this is a really good option our other stratagem of course the flamethrower and now that this thing is buffed ooh we delicious the flamethrower is one of the best crowd control weapons you see a line of enemies you just go ahead and spray down where other enemies are struggling to kill a swath of enemies you're sitting there having a cookout the flamethrower is elite at burning eggs you guys don't want your eggs scrambled or fried it is also one of the best weapons at taking out chargers. You see a charger just sustain fire on its leg and you burn it within seconds. This is a great all around weapon for hordes of enemies and chargers alike. You are the charger slayer, you are the crowd controller. Very, very dangerous weapon, but very effective. And later in the video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to use this thing with peak efficiency. Our second carry stratagem is going to be the shield generator pack. Now, I never really used the shield generator pack. The main reason we're bringing the shield generator pack. When you pull out the flamethrower and you're spraying down enemies, once in a while, a hunter's gonna jump across through the flames and whack you. The shield generator pack will prevent you from getting staggered so we can keep the flamethrower active. Now, an optional stratagem you can bring if you wanna swap any of these out for more crowd control. You can bring the incendiary mines. I don't really use them and they tend to be more dangerous to the team than to actual enemies. I know there's another rumor that there's gonna be a flame sentry, so that could be another good option if you wanna switch any of these out. But other than that, everything we have now is solid. Four super! Yeah! 